Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, call me Lola, and this channel is about DIY fashion. Make sure that before enjoying this video, you hit the subscribe button for more and more interesting fashion contents such as See You From Scratch, Recreating Celebrity Outfit, Mix and Match, and Fashion Illustrations. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So, in today's video, I will recreate a trending outfit worn by Jenny's Blackpink, the bow tie top from Chanel. The fabric I choose here is the light blue Italian cotton. It's not stretchy, so that's to keep the bow in shape. I have an, an addiction of touching the fabric, you know, it's just so arousing. Okay, let's get started. The very first step of the recreating progress is to shape the outfit in your way. Here I divided the top into three parts, front piece, back piece, the bow and flower piece. Don't forget to straps and the additional function to help us get in and out of the top. At the beginning, I couldn't decide which style for this function because, you know, we have zipper choice, elastic choice, button choice but as you can see, there are so many ways to structure a design for its owner's convenience. Next, measuring. What measurements do we need here? Birds, upper birds, lower birds, and the distance between them. Now move on working with patterns. Use your measurements and plus about 2cm for seam allowance. For the back piece, I want it a bit curvy, so I cut out a small piece on the upper of the back piece. Now let's cut the fabric. You can fold the fabric so you can cut out two pieces at the same time for front and back pieces. Seal one side of front and back piece left side together, the other side will be inserted a zipper or elastic lid. Now hem the raw edges of two pieces. Next, let's make two straps. Fold the fabric so you can cut two in just one try. The strap width is 4cm, length is about 40cm. Fold the edge of the strap. I just want the real width of it is 1cm. A good practice here is that you can fold and iron the raw hem before sewing for easier and better experience.
attach the straps to the top part. Now it's about your hand sewing skill. Separate the hem to make a small hole in the top seam to insert the strap into it. Then hand sew it. For this next step, I would recommend you using elastic band to attach to your back piece, not using zipper like me, for putting in and out clothing easier. I went with the zipper choice because at the beginning I didn't cut the extra fabric for the uh, elastic stretchy effect. So bear in mind, if you want to use elastic band for your back piece, you can cut your back piece in extra length. For example, the final back piece you want is about 42 cm in length, so you got a plus 8 cm for seam allowance and the elastic stretchy effect. I don't have invisible zipper footer, so I actually hand sew it. The result is surprisingly nice. Oh, suddenly the sun rays comes through the window and shines so bright, so I decided to record it. Let's have a quick break. It's so nice making your own outfit, but also adjusting and frustrating at the same time. Now let's move to the part of making a bow tie. Cut out a piece with a uh, 13 cm in width and 120 cm in length. This one already includes seam allowance. Hem the raw edges. I would suggest you cut the wider width for bigger bow shape if you like. The ratio can be 1 divided for 9, not 1 divided for 10 like me. And now let's shape the bow. Let's move to the final step of the progress, making flower design on the chest. Cut the petal patterns with your own desired size, but in ellipse shape. Then cut the fabric petals from the paper patterns. Attach them together following the order. The beginning of the second petals is positioned to the middle of the first petals. Hand seal the connection and finally seal the line the petals create and pull the seam together to make the flower shaped. Well, with this one, I recommend you using your creativity and your own favorite flower to shape your customized floral patterns here. Well, just for your information, I was hurt by needles so many times for this outfit already. I followed one online instruction for making a rose, but actually I don't have their desired material. Also, I don't have a white fabric, so my rose it turned out to be a white flower. But I kind of like it. Somehow it tells my personality those. I like daisy also, so I tried to make one from paper, just for picture. Finally, attach the bow to the top and I am finished. Here is the result. Oh my god, it's just too cute to handle. I love it 3000.
As you can tell, just a tiny floral chest design that can change the whole concept of the outfit. So, are you ready to make your own? Bonus part, I wanted to illustrate the design but I was so lazy and not in the mood. So yeah, it's alright, I can draw it better next time. So, who are you? A little soft, gentle and pure daisy? Or a wise, strong and edgy rose? Whoever you are, just remember, you all shine bright in your ways. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great time here and getting inspired in some ways. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Love you. Bye.